You know, the Vietnam War, like every other war, there have been songs written for just the soldiers themselves. Songs that civilians wouldn't understand, and unless you knew a little bit about the country, you wouldn't understand at all. It'd be just so many words with music to them. Well, this next song that I wrote is kind of like that, but I wrote it for the soldiers, and when I toured around Vietnam, I used to sing it in hospitals, and it would always get a laugh from the troops. And after all, that's what you try to do is laugh at yourself to keep from crying, I guess. But this song concerns a man who every morning gets up in his air-conditioned hotel room and wars on Saigon, puts on his starched, tailored jungle fatigues, puts on his spit shine with a zipper in the tongue jungle boots, straps on his water buffalo hide holster that will mildew in three days, puts in his pearl handle 45 revolver, cocks his bombay ba Australian bush hat to one side, puts a Nikon camera on one arm and a Sony transistorized radio on the other, steps out in the streets of old Saigon, sucks in a deep, fresh breath of fresh, sickle smoke, and makes it to the field. Now this man's a mail clerk going to Tansanu, but he has become loved as, and known as, the Saigon Warrior. Excuse me, General Westy, I hate to bother you, but I've got me a couple of problems, I don't know what to do. My air conditioner's broke, my sedan's out of gas, besides all this, I can't get no three-day pass. Well now, since I've been in country, now we all know that in country means uh, here. I've learned to speak the Vietnamese language fluently. I went to Tudo University and it cost me 160 piastres a drink, I mean a lesson. Now I can say all these words without a trace of an Arkansas drawl in Vietnamese. Here we go. This is kind of a lesson in culture too. Tudo Street, Saigon Tea. Hey, where you go now? I no see you in here before. You buy me one drink for lucky. You buku butterfly. Dinky Dow. And did you ever go in a tavern and spend all your pay? And when you left without buying that one more bombay ba, you immediately became Cheap Charlie. Yeah, yeah. No money, no honey. You go PX buy for me. I no like Ho Chi Minh. How long you stay in Vietnam? You number 10. And then you know the most beautiful saying I think to come out of a war. And this one here, I know that every American who ever went to Saigon to do battle has heard this saying at least once. And when we leave Vietnam, they'll build a great big tall monument. Instead of saying, thanks America, or Yankee go home, on this big flashing monument will be these words, blazing for everyone to see hereafter. I love you too much. I'm a Saigon warrior, helping fight a war. Pushing a pencil, my fingers getting sore. I'd like to go to the field and get in on some real action. But I slipped at the pool at the Circle Sportif the other day, and both my legs are in traction. Now I hear that there's a war in this place. I read about it in the paper in the part that's not blank, censored, or cut out, or just misspelled. But the only fights I see are in the hairspray line at the PX for a close, sick, low race. 
When I first got into Saigon, I thought it was an Abilene. More cowboy hats and strapped down six guns than I'd ever seen. Now Saigon warriors don't get silver stars or any of them other decorations. But if we work real hard, when we leave, we'll get MACV certificates on the day that we depart. I'm a Saigon warrior, helping fight a war. Pushing a pencil, my fingers getting sore. I'm a Saigon warrior, helping fight a war. Pushing a pencil, my fingers getting sore.